Hey guys, welcome back to this week's vlog episode. Today we are in beautiful Reykjavik and why do you like this place? It has bunnies. It has bunnies. It has lots of bunnies. Wild bunnies. Yes. Yeah. So let's go feed the bunnies. We first met in 2012. Little did we know that five years later we would begin a journey of love and adventure that crossed two continents. Fruits of Iceland. We are Seth and Agnes. So a while back I posted on Instagram and asked for you guys to share any questions that you had for us to answer in the vlog. And we got several responses and one of those was aimed at me asking how much Icelandic I knew. There's a long, st uh, a long answer and a short answer. The short answer is... 47 words! The long <laughs> answer is... Not enough. Now those are actually that both pretty them. short. Uh, yeah, like she said, I have this app called Drops, which is actually very effective, and it kind of counts how many words I, well, words and phrases. No, maybe it includes the words and the phrases. Yeah, probably. I bet you it does that. Anyway, I'm up to 47 words. Talk fitted. <laughs> All right. After I bless. <laughs> bless. <laughs> So little phrases like that I'm slowly picking up on even though it's painfully slow. Using it in real life with other people is the best way to do it. In fact, today I was at the mall and this guy came up, I was reading a book and this guy came up and was pointing out the 50% off. He told me this whole long thing. I, I don't even know what he was saying. But at the end of it, I kind of guessed he was telling me that the book was 50% off. I was like, oh, Asli, talk shit it. And he smiled and walked away. Like, no clue. Everybody thinks I'm Icelandic. And for the most part, if I can keep it super simple, I, I can fool them. Icelandic's pretty tricky to learn. What are some of the intricacies? Conjugation and grammar. You have so many different ways to say just one word based on how you're using it in your sentence. Like where we live, Isafjordur is the name of the town, but you hardly ever use that name because you either say Isafirde, Isafjordar, 
and so on. Which depends on how you're talking about the town, right? Yeah, it depends like, on if you're going there, if you're coming from there, if you are in it, or if you're like pointing at it on a map. For me, it's East of Fiedler. <laughs> <laughs> I just want, yes. I just want to learn one name for the town that I live in. Some words are female, some are male, and so based on if they're female or male, that also depends. Like that influences how you're gonna conjugate it, and so you just. I mean, this is something Icelanders grow up learning. I didn't because I grew up in Denmark and we just spoke Icelandic at home, which is why I know it. But it's hard to learn. I would say I know English grammar. Which was your third way, language. Yeah, that was my third language. I know that better than Icelandic. Yeah. Icelandic is one of the oldest languages. One of. And it is so well preserved that it's pretty much the Viking language. It's very, very, very old Norwegian and came over here with the Vikings. And Icelanders have done a really good job of preserving the language. Whenever something new comes out, like a computer or a cell phone, like we find our own word instead of just adopting the English word for it. Like we just make up a new word. But of all the Icelandic words and phrases that I know, my favorite one is Yelskade. Aww. Mm. Love you With, too. <laughs> yeah, Yelskade Lika. Um, that was probably one of the first, what was the first word I learned? I think that was it. I think that was. Yeah, I asked how to say I love you in Icelandic. Yeah, so. and then you know, Heite Elsken. Yes. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's a little bit shorter. We are super busy this week. We're down here in Reykjavik for um, her cousin's wedding, Ezra and Elisa. So super excited mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, if you have any questions, definitely leave it in the comments or send us messages and we will see you next week. I'm gonna put this in your hair. Yeah, I put a flower in your hair. The flower fell out of my... What are you doing, B? Can't stick it right there. Not there we go. Have, like... Beautiful.